Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. So glad that you're joining me today in the studio for some paper crafting fun. So my name is Wendy Lee, for those of you that don't already know who I am, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Yes, yes. What are we going to do today? Today, I have a fun little gift card slash treat holder for you that I'm excited to share with you. Quick and cute, right? Uh, that's what we're going to focus on today. Uh, but I have a couple of announcements I want to make sure you're aware of first. Yes? Tomorrow, free shipping day. Stampin' Up! has just announced that we are going to have free shipping tomorrow only. So June 21st, that's Wednesday. Yes, June 21st, Wednesday, all day long. So know that it runs mountain time. So uh, Stampin' Up! does, I think it's 11.59 um, p.m. to 12 a.m. mountain time. So know that you've got to adjust that based on your time zone. So um, it'll be for one day only and um, all orders, minimum orders of $75 or greater will get free shipping, which saves a lot of money. I know you're in North Carolina, so you have 11% that you pay on your order for shipping. Plus in North Carolina, we pay tax on our shipping. So you save a little tax too if you have free shipping. So that's happening tomorrow, which is very exciting. And then we have a designer series paper sale going on this month, if you didn't know. So there are select designer series papers that are 15% off. You know, I am a huge, huge fan of designer series paper. So stock up because we will be using it a lot. Yes, not today though, shockingly so. Today I'm pulling in something else, but designer paper sale, don't wanna miss that. So those are the two, oh, this is the last day to sign up for my Cultivated Creativity Kit. So the June kit registration closes today and we are featuring the Layering Leaves Stamp Set and Coordinating Bow Punch, which we're gonna use on today's project. So let me go ahead and switch the camera over and let's get started on our crafty fun, right? Let's see if it's switching out. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So we are going to be featuring the layering leaves stamp set and coordinating bow punch. So we used um, we used this a few times this past month because I love it. I love, love, love this one. So this, if you don't already know, this has a little icon on it for the million dollar achiever. So Rachel Tesman, um, she's one of the co-designers that I'm on the all-star tutorial bundle with. And a very nice person. So Rachel designed this stamp set. And I love the fonts. I love the size of the sentiments. They're a little bit larger. And I love that the images coordinated with the bow punch, which we've had for a while. So we're going to use this today. And then I'm pulling in these in-color treat bags. <laughs> Excuse me. Still got a little bit of a cough. So pulling in these lovely in-color treat bags. And I love that it's a nice, subtle plaid print. You can use these for a lot of different things. And so today I'm going to show you a fun project that uses these maybe a little differently than you might think to use a treat bag. A treat bag is easy to use, right? But today we're going to use it, like I said, a little bit differently. So let me pull in the project we're going to make. We're going to make this super cute little guy right here. So this has a pocket. So you got a little card you can slide down in. Uh, if I get it back in there. So that is the treat bag pocket itself. Good grief, Wendy. I'm catching on that little serrated edge there of the top of the treat bag. And then there's a secondary pocket. So I'm thinking maybe some Ghirardelli squares. Oh yeah, you could put a couple of those bad boys down in there. So this would make a nice little treat. Of course, you could put the card in the back. You could put a gift card in here. You could put your treats in there. How fun is that to give a little gifty for someone? Yes. Oh, good. You guys are um, liking this set too. Uh, the more I play with it, the more I just love it. So it's it's definitely one that uh, I recommend you getting if you don't have, right? Now you can use the punch without the stamp set, but I think you're going to really want the sentiments more than anything else in this set. And then of course the stamp just kind of adds a little extra to our punched bows. All right. So let's get started on this one excuse me so this project is actually one of the projects my diamonds team is going to make as make and takes for july they don't know this yet i haven't shared it with them i've got four others i'll show you at the end what the other four look like but um each month in our team meetings there's an opportunity for everyone to participate in make and takes which means you get to make some projects 
rate. That's always fun. So they've got the opportunity to make some projects. Um, we usually do a full class in each team meeting, and this is the one that's going to be done in July. All right, so I'm going to start off with my gift bag, and at three inches from the top, I'm going to go ahead and score my bag. Now, you can use your trimmer and actually the supply list, which I will add after the video. I put the complete supply list, all the cut dimensions, so you can recreate this on your own. You can purchase the supplies that you need as well. So this right here, I've scored all the way through the uh, treat bag. Now, on the supply list, you're not going to see the Simply Scored that I just used. You're going to see just the paper trimmer. You can use either one. I like to use the Simply Scored when I'm on a video because then it's easier for you guys to see. So there's my treat bag. So there's where my two pockets come in. So let's pull in a piece of pool party cardstock. We're going to make a belly band out of this. So I'm just going to lay this right down on top. So again, I told you this is going to be quick and cute today. So I'm going to fold this over. Now, let's go ahead and take that out. Let's make sure this is nice and straight. And we're hitting that right on that edge. So then I can slide this back in. I can come over to the other end and fold that over as well. Now let's take that off my treat bag. And we're going to give that a nice, crisp, straight fold as well. Now, we don't need to take this belly band off this treat holder, but if you did want to, you'd want to make sure that this will slide, right? You don't want it so tight that you can't get this off. Now, I'm okay with it staying on. I'm actually going to adhere it to the base of this card, right? Because I don't want it to come off. So let's grab our stamp and seal. So right now, if actually, let me look at this one more time. Yep, that's how I want it. I want to make sure my overlap is somewhat in the center because then my focal point is going to cover that up. So I'm going to put a little adhesive at the very end of this one and a little adhesive at the very end of the other end of the band, right? And you know what? I just put that on the wrong side. No worries. When you put adhesive on the wrong side, just grab your embossing buddy from your embossing additions toolkit and you can get the tackiness off. So you can do that. The other thing you can do is grab an adhesive eraser. Now we don't sell adhesive erasers currently. I do offer them as part of my adhesive pack uh, that I have available for purchase. But if you don't have one, you can get them on Amazon. They're inexpensive. Um, so you just would take your little adhesive eraser and you can erase the adhesive as well. So two ways to fix your oops, when you're doing adhesive. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put adhesive on this side, the top, not the bottom. I could put it on the bottom because I was going to adhere it to the bag. So actually that wasn't bad. I'm going to leave that on there. But I wanted you to see in case you didn't want your stuck to the bag that you don't put it on that side. All right. So let's figure out where we want this and place that in there. And then I'm just going to fold this right over the top. And now that's attached to my gift card holder. Perfect. Yes. Good, good, good. Good to see Carmen and Jean and Susan. Love that you guys are joining me today. If you're out there, give us a shout. Let us know you're here. We can say hello. All right. Perfect. So next, I'm going to pull in some of my favorite ribbon. This is the Glitter Organdy ribbon. I love this. There's about 22 inches of ribbon here, give or take. You do what makes you happy. And I am just going to tie this around. Now, I'm not worried about where my bow is going to fall at this moment. I can slide that. I want this nice and tight. So I'm going to pull that. I'll make my two loops crisscross. One goes down in the hole and comes out the other side. Now, I tie my bows upside down because I always know that they're going to turn out upside down. So why not just save myself the trouble? and start that way, knowing that it's gonna end up upside down. Perfect, so we've got that slid over. We may have to slide it one more time. Next, I have already die cut this largest banner from the Nested Essentials die. So this is a new die set that is in our annual catalog and I'm really loving these. I, don't you just love that double stitched detail? Mm -mm -mm. I am a big fan of stitch detail and that double stitching is really nice. I think this one's got a really nice masculine feel to it. So I'm happy with where my ribbon is. And I am going to place this right down on that little treat holder with some dimensionals. And grab those. You can grab your black ones. You can grab your 
um, white ones, whatever makes you happy. Oh, good. You, you're liking this project. Good, 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 good. So you can make a whole stack of these in all different colors. And wait till you see the other ones we're doing. So if you're not already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, there is a special going on right now for the month of June. Granted, anytime is a great time to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. The starter kit is the best value. You get to pick the product you want in it. It was not like that when I signed up. But you get to put in the product of your choice, which is fantastic. And right now, you get $155 in product for the low price of $99. And it ships free, which is awesome as well. I love that part of it. <clears throat> so it's a great time to join, get the discount, and then you stay because of all the wonderful people that you're going to meet. The community is amazing. All right, so I've got my bow punch. I'm going to, our punches come um, so they fold down and they're locking. So you can slide that lock and it expands the punch. That's the part you squeeze. The end that stays narrow is where you put your paper. So I'm gonna slide in my vellum. I'm gonna start off with some vellum. I'm just gonna put that scrap in there and punch. I'm looking for this one. I might get the other one as well, but I'm looking for the large one. So we're gonna get that little large sprig there. Love how vellum adds a nice, soft, subtle touch, right? I'm gonna bring in some fine shimmer paper. Oh, love this. Have you seen this in the catalog yet? I love this paper. Got a great shimmery look to it. So this is the Lost Lagoon color that's in the pack. There's five different colors. Um, if I remember correctly, it's navy, uh, berry burst, bubble gum, uh, pretty peacock, and Lost Lagoon. So fabulous colors <coughs> to pull in. Now we're going to do one more. I want to do the small sprig, but I would like to stamp this first. So let's see if I've got my foam pad handy. You don't have to have the foam pad underneath. But because it is photopolymer, I think I'll get a nicer image if I have that down. Hey, Dawn, so glad you're here as well. Good to see you. All right, so I'm using Pool Party ink, and I'm putting it on Pool Party uh, cardstock. And I'm going to stamp it on one end. I'm kind of looking at my punch for the orientation. So I've got a nice subtle look to this. It's kind of a tone on tone color. Now, if you don't have Pool Party ink pad, you could use Versamark. It'll end up being a little bit lighter than the Pool Party itself would be. So I'm going to line this up inside my punch. So you just have to move your paper until you can see your stamped image. And I'm going to give it a little squeeze to kind of hold it in place, right? Now I can use both, both hands and give that a little squeeze and punch out that lovely little small bow there. Nice. Love it, love it, love it. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. I will bring that pad back in a minute. All right. And then to close your punch when you're done, you just squeeze that, lock it, and you're ready to put on your shelf. You got an image on one side. You got an image on top. So you can easily find those again. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So there's all my little sprigs that I'm going to do. Let's put a little bit of liquid glue on the end of each of those. I know, liquid glue. Those that know me, not a huge liquid glue fan, but sometimes... Liquid glue is what you need. So I'm going to put a little liquid glue on the bottom of each of these. Okay. And I might put a little bit more on this one. And I'm going to let those sit for a minute. We're going to do our sentiment. Hopefully I don't end up with those stuck to my arm. I had somebody asking me today about adhering little intricate pieces like this. And my friend, Melissa Kerman, showed us a trick at Maker's Mojo years ago. Our, like one of our first Maker's Mojos. And I'm sure she does this on a regular basis. Um, where she puts the liquid glue on, lets it dry. And our liquid glue dries tacky. So you can still adhere it even if it's completely dried, which I love. All right, next, let's do our sentiment. So my favorites, nested, uh, not nested essentials. I do like nested essentials. Stylish shapes, my favorite favorite, stylish shapes. So the third smallest circle I've cut out. And then we are going to stamp with copper clay ink. That's one of our new in colors. Nice, rich brown, and I'm going to stamp for you, just right on there. Beautiful. Don't you love that font? The size of that, those sentiments are just wonderful. I love them. Okay, set that aside. So I am going to go ahead and build this. Hopefully that's dried enough that I won't make a big oozy mess. I might still make a big oozy mess. We'll find out, right? All right, so I'm going to lay this down where I want it, and I'm just going to 
going to tack that down. It's okay if it oozes a little bit because I'm going to cover that up. But I wanted to get some of it out if I could. All right, let's put this one down. And then let's put this little sprig down as well. Oh, so cute. Love it. Do you guys like it? I think it's just so pretty together, these colors. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's add this on with some dimensionals, of course, right? I could do three. I'm going to do, uh, yeah, I'll do three. I was going to go four. I think either one works well. Hey, Kay, so glad you're here as well. And yes, happy, happy Tuesday to you. All right, so I'm going to put my sentiment on. I go a little more forward than I did on my original one versus centered. I like that. Nice. So cute. All right. So then on the original, I didn't stamp anything on my, my insert that I put in the pocket, but let's do a little stamping on it today. Why not? The original's blank. Just plain, plain Jane. Oh, I'm knocking over all kinds of stuff to get my scrap paper out. Oh, I just killed my bossy buddy. Okay. Foam pad. There we go. So I'm not going to go too crazy. I think I'm just going to stamp a little bit of splatter. And let's do it in copper clay. Why not? So a little splatter on there. Nice. So it just kind of ties it all together. Should we stamp a sprig too? I don't know that we need it. It doesn't hurt anything. Maybe I will. Why not? I've got all the stuff here. Hey, Connie. So glad you're here as well. Hope you guys are enjoying this project and we'll give this one a try. All right, let's go ahead and just put that down in the corner too. Nice. Doesn't necessarily have to be there, but I think it's kind of nice to add that in. You could add one of the other sentiments if you'd like to. Um, it's just a card so that you can write a little note if you'd like to. And like I said, you can slide this in the back pocket, right? or into the front pocket like I did on this one. And then if you've got a little treat or a gift card, my favorite, let's go to my, let's see if I've got my favorite winery close by. Um, I don't, no favorite winery, that's okay. We'll use a little Visa card, here we go. We'll just slide this down in that pocket. So you can get your gift card down in there, your little treat, add a little note. How stinking cute is that? You guys love it? Fast and easy. How do you kill an embossing buddy? Well, what I did was I dropped it on the floor and then I stepped on it and then I rolled my card over the top. So I think it's dead. No, it's alive. It's just a little um, little run over. <laughs> and I have a big spot on my floor with embossing powder on it, but that's okay. We, we, we got mopping going on uh, later this week, right? All right, let me show you the other ones that my team's going to get to make it this month at our July team meeting, just so you can kind of see the versatility of this. So that's the one I showed you how to make. I'm not going to show you how to make the other ones. You got to be on my team to do these. Uh, they get these as part of their um, perks of being on the team. So I've got this one here. Uses that wild wheat combo. Cute, right? Well, boho blue. Misty Mauve. And this one's very burst with the pebble path. This one unties and opens and it's a, there, it's a little bit different, but very similar, right? So just something different than you can do with our lovely gift bags. Yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you've got questions on anything I've got going on, oh, I should show you cultivated creativity. Let me give you a sneak peek. So this is the, uh, like I said, we're featuring layering leaves this month and today is the last opportunity to uh, sign up and join us for this month's kit. Um, so you get, I'm gonna show you an example of a kit. It's not this month's kit, it's actually last month's kit. So last month we featured the beautiful balloons and this is the kit packet that went out to everybody. I actually have one packet, one extra packet. If anyone is interested, um, hit me directly and um, I will, um, let you know about this. It's $39 for the kit, but I have, I ended up with a last cancellation, last minute cancellation. So I've got one extra kit. So if you're interested in last month's, you can uh, let me know and we can work that out. But this month we've got a fun fold. We've got another cute, super cute little uh, lattice card with a little seed packet on it. 
another cute one here. Got the mud shimmer paper. And then our little 3D is a little notepad holder with a pocket. Love it, love it, love it. And then a super fast and easy, easy one there too. All right, so a nice wide variety. Beautiful, beautiful projects um, that you'll be able to enjoy and gift. So hopefully you'll join us for those. Oh, good. I'm glad that you love those as well. Perfect. All right. Thank you all for joining me today for our crafty fun. If you're enjoying the projects I'm sharing, um, please uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, share this with your crafty friends. Invite them over to come join us um, and play on uh, Tuesdays for a little crafty fun. And um, I do appreciate it. And I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. Thank you all so very much. And I will see you again next Tuesday for some more crafty fun.